<sighs> Just generally disappointed. So, I think it's off to the garden centre. Road trip, road trip, road trip, garden centre, woohoo! It's rather toasty today. So why are we going to the garden centre? Hanging baskets. Woo! Just hanging baskets. But that's what we always say and it never ends up just being hanging baskets. In fact, I think the last time it ended up being trees. for a wee link to their YouTube channel and you can see all the stuff they sell. Uh, we're off to get hanging baskets. See ya. You guys missed the two trolleys argument. Every time we come here, we get one trolley and then we end up having to go and get another one later on. Um, and we argue every time we're not going to do it and every time we do it. So, um, I won this time. We've got two trolleys. Petunias, our favourite. Six hanging baskets. Six, yeah. Kate doing her awesome maths. How many petunias do you need? How many baskets? So we're just back then, hanging baskets were looking a wee bit poor this year and I'll take full responsibility, my fault. I was just a bit over eager to get things colourful in the garden and I put the wee petunia plugs out before they were ready. But we went and we picked up some more from the garden centre just so we can get some colour in the garden. A uh, bit of a tip for you, if you're doing containers and baskets, two things I totally recommend. One is these moisture retentive crystals because baskets and containers you need to be watering them all the time because they just don't hold it the same way as it being in the soil would don't go mad with them though because they are really good just a bit of a sprinkling in your soil second thing is some slow release food slow release food or fertilizer because again they're not in the soil they're not getting all the normal nutrients they'll use it up in the basket really quickly and it's up to you to feed the plants so basically with these all i do is just a bit of a sprinkle in the soil and I mean that, just a bit of a sprinkle, not a lot. And then a good mix in. Now, just be prepared to get messy. There is no way of doing this and being clean. You're going to get mud under your nails. Okay, so. Wee bit of soil in the bottom. Get it all started off. And let's see what we've got here. So, we've tried to go with, we know about three in a big basket, two in a smaller basket is awesome. So we've done that with the colours to match it all up. And we've got a few here. So we've got all the different colours that we like. Uh, little ones that have got two colours. These ones are Kate's favourite, the little starry nights. And we just try and not have every basket the same, but we try and kind of have some sort of theme going. So here we go, straight out the little pot. You'll hear gardeners on TV tell you about this. They tell you to gently tease the roots. All they mean is just make a few little breaks. It just encourages the plant to grow more roots and it just encourages it to take a bit faster. So I reckon I'll get three of these gorgeous little things in here. And again, we're just breaking out the roots a little bit and spacing these out nice. And this will be a nice full basket when I'm finished. There we go. So we've got our plants in there. And now what we want to do is just get some soil in around them. Make sure all the roots are covered, but use your hand to tuck back all the leaves and stems out of the way. Cause you don't want to break all these when you've just gone to the effort of getting them to go in there. 
So just keep them out of the way and that lets you get in. Now, don't be frightened to really properly pack that in, press it in there. Okay, because you want these plants to be nice and secure. Turning it around. More in there. Make sure if you're doing three plants like this, make sure you're getting soil in the centre between them as well. Rookie mistake I used to do. And last little bit. Again, pushing that in, making sure you're in between all the plants, making sure all the roots are covered. The plants are all nice and secure. And these little petunias are awesome. As they grow, they'll trail out over the basket as well. They'll be nice and full looking. So, the hardest bit of all of this is trying to get these chains up in the right place because they get all caught. So, I'll let you go round that side. Now I've got you going round that way and you going round that way. So there we go. That's one hanging basket done, looking much better. Oh, one, two, three, four, just five to go. Right, get this up and go on to the next ones. These baskets are the other ones we have for the shed. Remember I was saying about chains that come off? Oh, awesomeness. Although they are a bit of a pain to plant in because they won't sit. Now Kate has a trick she does with an upturned stool actually that's quite good. I'll see if I can come up with something. Might have to do that. But these baskets don't have a liner in them, okay? You want a liner because otherwise all the water just pours out them. So I've just cut up a bin bag. But you do need to put holes in it because you do want it to have some form of drainage. So bin liner is great, it works, but make sure you put holes in it. Things to remember. And these baskets also hold a lot more soil and can take bigger plants as well. So just have a think about that. Wherever you're putting your baskets, what type of basket, not only what will it look like, what type of plants will it hold, how much soil will it need. Right, so that's a fair bit in there to start off with. We've got something different for these baskets. We've got these. Now, I can't tell you anything about these because even when we got them at the garden centre, they're a bit of a test thing. They are, now get me in my languages, Port Portulaca Olera Campino Pitia Danziger. It says, question mark, question mark, question mark, trial. They look a bit like petunias, but the leaves feel a little bit like succulents. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. So we're going to try these and see what these come up like. Because this is the awesome thing about the garden, you get to play. Now, these are quite wide, as you can see, they've spread. So we're just going to put one in each basket and let it spread out over the top. And we'll see how these go. Now, another tip when you're doing baskets and containers, never, ever, ever fill the soil right to the brim. Always give yourself maybe an inch because when you water a basket or a container, you know, your pots, you want to water it until it actually fills to the top of water and then you leave that to drain, okay? Because a lot of people don't realise that you actually, when you water your plants, you need to give them a decent amount of water. It's not just a wee sprinkle. You need to give them a proper water so it goes right down and soaks right down into the roots. Because if you only give them enough to make the top wet, that's just going to evaporate. And there we go. Awesome. Next one of them done. And that is me. So, baskets are all done. All that's left now is to get tidied up and sweep up all the mud I've kicked everywhere. While I'm doing this, go for a wander. Go have a look at the baskets. garden always looks so much nicer when we've got the hanging baskets in.
and beat a bit of colour. <laughs> 